whether you are a CEO, COO, business excellence leader, operations manager, maintenance engineer, or simply a lean aspirant. The question that you have in your mind probably is in the wake of industry 4.0, smart factories, etc. Does it at all make sense for us to focus on concepts of 5S, Kanban, value stream mapping, etc. that lean transformation brings in? 5S, for example, is a Japanese approach of improving the workplace, which has now been adopted by most organizations worldwide. It brings in a lot of efficiency into the system. On the other hand, Industry 4.0 and all the other prominent technologies in that, such as CPS, that is Cyber Physical Systems, Industrial IoT, Big Data and Analytics, Artificial Intelligence, etc. are also very promising. A survey was conducted of 278 vendors who provide service of IoT to corporations like yours. During the course of the implementation, they faced a lot of challenges and the top two challenges that they came out as concerns for them in the survey was one, lack of standardization and two, lack of process structure. And that is why I am reminded of what Bill Gates said. He said that the first rule of any technology used in any business is that automation applied to an efficient operation will magnify the efficiency. The second is that automation applied to an inefficient operation will magnify the inefficiency. So it makes sense to have efficient operations as a precondition and leverage industry 4.0. So it does make sense for us to focus on lean concepts like 5S, Kanban, value stream mapping even today in this era of digital revolution. The reverse is true as well. Digital factory solutions can help implement and sustain lean improvements. Here are a few popular use cases from smart factory solutions for achieving the goals of 5S. App-based 5S digitization which can help you to take snaps on the site using a mobile app and subsequently generate analytics about orderliness and cleanliness. RFID based part selection for identifying which parts have to be selected so that the wrong parts don't get selected and sorting is maintained. Visual part selection guide for kit making when you are exporting parts. As you see in the illustration, you are able to identify the part and it also tells you where the part is located on the screen. Thereby, you will be able to pick the part correctly. You could take it to one further level where you see that there is a light that tells you exactly where the part is available. So if you have a larger collection of parts, say in warehouse, this solution of guided part location may be more useful. Visual part inspection and confirmation of kits when you are doing SKD or CKD very important because similar parts might be mixed up and packed but if you are using a solution which is driven by artificial intelligence and VR you will be able to identify the part correctly and also validate if the part is clean enough. Guided sort store and clean solution if you see the illustration here there is a green light on the table as the person is wiping the table once the part of the table which has got wiped is good enough as per the standard a green light would glow the person can then move on to the next location which is indicated for him to clean and once that's cleaned enough again the light would move to that spot so thereby he would go systematically and complete cleaning before he moves on to start doing the assembly. This can be very useful when you are doing a critical operation. Another example of a critical operation may be in scenarios such as healthcare related product assembly 
where you are training the employee on how to perform certain activities or tasks. For example, in this scenario, you see that the AR based solution is helping the employee to identify how he or she has to wash the hands. So it's helping in training. On the screen right out there on the top, you see that there is a number one along with illustration of which part of the hand has to be washed. And once the person is completing that, it would go to the next portion of the hand. Thereby, it makes sure that the person is completely washing the hand. From Audi's factory is that of auto orderliness where the trolleys would move to a specific location of choice by themselves, thereby maintaining orderliness and ensuring that we are able to select the parts easily without going inside the lane where the parts are being placed. For each of all the other examples that I've shown you earlier and for the remaining ones, illustrative videos are available and I'm providing the link for them down below in the resources. Another solution is that of moving away from automatic vehicles which were traditionally used in factories to autonomous vehicles. Now the difference between an automatic vehicle and an autonomous vehicle is that the autonomous vehicle is smart. You don't need some kind of a mechanism to tell the vehicle as to where exactly and how exactly it has to go to a particular location. It would use artificial intelligence to build the smartest route to reach a particular destination inside the factory and you don't need to lay down markers or other electronic sensors to guide it to go to that particular location. And finally, an interesting application of how we can do maintenance and troubleshooting of large warehouse and the equipments which are used in the warehouse without human assistance. A drone would go and do the inspection and if needed, it would also perform basic maintenance activities in the warehouse, thereby eliminating the need for human intervention and shortening the time for a breakdown. So friends, here were a few interesting applications of smart factories and industry 4.0, which can help you in 5S transformation and largely in lean transformation. Many of these tools have larger implication beyond 5S and more examples of such tools or such use cases can also be considered. Thank you.